Oh yeah, female Cooper Hawk flying in out of the nest earlier, sailed over here now, taking a break. And the male, he's over there taking a break too. He was in and out with his uh, twigs. So they've been working on the nest. And the sun's uh, getting brighter by the minute, so getting a little blue sky behind her now. The clouds are getting fairly thin, so it should be a good day. But they've got their nest in great shape. They, if they didn't put another twig in there, it'd be fine. But it's just their ritual. That's their honeymoon stage. They put twigs in, communicate, and they uh, mate, and try to make Easter eggs. And, they had five eggs last year, they all hatched, and all the babies did well, so we're hoping for a good year this year too, and we're happy to see them back at the same spot and at the same time. So. But this is the female, and uh, she's sitting over here taking a little break now, and he's still sitting on his limb. He's a little closer to the nest and watching for the curls. Oh, a little bird come in there, look at that. Oh, interesting, but uh, we had a good time last year. We did the whole season. We were making videos of the birds from March till September when the youngsters flew and out of the nest and they hung around for a while. And all through August, we made videos of the youngsters making their noise and flying back and forth. And <laughs> we documented the whole nesting cycle and we hope to do it again this year. It's a great spot, you just pull over and park. I'm right on the sidewalk right now, and the birds aren't afraid of people. They walk by all day long, and this is their domain, and they're urbanized. And it uh, doesn't bother them a bit. I've been in there making videos. I get within, oh, I'd say 60 feet of the nest and make videos. doesn't bother them. They're used to people, and I get some good shots. So go ahead and enjoy it, and uh, I'll see if I can locate that male now. He's still hanging out a little closer to the nest. And uh, in the mornings, he goes out and he goes hunts breakfast. And she stays here and she puts starts putting twigs in about nine o'clock, back and forth and weed him in. Then he comes back, he goes bick bick. That means I got food. Then. He gives her the food and she eats, and then he puts a few twigs in, and and now they've all fed, so they're just kind of digesting their food and taking it easy. Because the nest at this point, like I said, is just a ritual. There's plenty of <laughs> twigs in there, it's good size. This is just part of the mating ritual, so. And they're all excited about it. And all the other birds are excited too. They're, everything's pairing up, the crows and the robins and everything else. Oh, it's springtime in the Rockies. Oh yeah. All right, well, we'll see if we can locate that male then. 